Hi, this is Nathaniel. Uh, I'm going to tell you about some uh, like, uh, uh, mentises that are common in the United States. Uh, uh, if you're in the United, Eastern United, Eastern half of the United States, probably what you'll you'll find that you run across most people pretty much most of the time. Um, what I see on in pictures, people pretty much always they just uh, are they find a Chinese mantis or a Carolina mantis, and not much else except down south in Florida, there are several other species of mantises, but still in the United States there there's a small there um, there's not much of diversity of mantis species. There's small Mount compared to the tropical areas, or key the keys might be tropical of Florida, but still not very many species. Um, uh, the the Carolina mantises and Chinese mantises both go up far north, and the eastern United States up to it's, uh, just Carolina mantises are maybe my, um, maybe spreading their range. Uh, my friend uh, has a friend that has found uh, Carolina mantises flying around. I think he said. Uh, in May, the state of Maine and you know of the United States of America, that's far north. Uh, there in New York too, uh, but not may, probably not uh, maybe not Co uh, Canada or like maybe not in Quebec yet or the Carolina mantises. But uh, on Bug Guide I saw an adult male picture from southeastern Quebec, so maybe they're spreading there now. The Chinese mantis. Um, there's another species the. Narrowing mantis, very uh, in the same genus as the Chinese mantis, very uh, similar in looks to the Chinese mantis, except a little smaller generally, uh, and uh, more narrow. Um, uh, you can tell them apart. There's some differences that are obvious. Um, the underwings, the hind wings of the narrowing mantises are mostly clear, with just one strip of uh, patterning uh, patterns, uh, dark patterns on on the top part of the underwing, uh, the hind wings, each one. And the Chinese mantids are all the way colored uh, hind wings, black, almost black colored hind wings. That's one way uh, to tell apart. Um, I read online that on Japanese and Korean and English websites that you can tell from the narrowing mantis to, from the Chinese mantis by looking at the dot, the colored dot, the yellow dot, and orange, the bright orange dot on the narrowing mantis, the yellow dot on the Chinese mantis, like between their front legs and the chest. Um, you, you'll see those dots. Uh, but uh, I have a, uh, uh, friends that have found narrowing mantis with, with narrowing mantis adult mantis adults with the yellow dot. So uh, that that uh, that doesn't seem to uh, be reliable uh, way to distinguish them. Um, you'll probably be able to distinguish them. Uh, not maybe not from photographs or not some particular types of bad photographs but it might be able to uh, you probably if you have seen them before and have kept them those two species to uh, the Chinese mantis and narrowing mantis it's probably easy for you to um, it would probably be easy for you to distinguish them if you just saw one uh, see it is for me if I see them in person but I just can't tell them pictures uh, anyway um, those narrowing mantis are are kind of common I think uh, they're both Chinese mantis and narrowing mantis are introduced from uh, Eastern Asia, probably somewhere around there. Yeah, I don't know if they go out west. Um, they are probably common in the United States now, in Pennsylvania and maybe New Jersey. And I have a friend uh, says in uh, North Carolina, maybe just in the, or maybe Raleigh. Too. Yeah, uh, he, Rick. He says they're kind of uh, patchy. Their their uh, distribution, uh, so they're not really spread spread all the way. Around the North Carolina yet, but in Pennsylvania, I see a lot of pictures on bug guide and stuff from there. Uh, so I'm thinking they're common. They they seem to uh, live together in the in the na their native range with the Chinese mantis, the narrowing mantis, and the Chinese mantis live in the uh, uh, same areas. I used to live in South Korea and I found them both um, in the mountains. The narrowing mantis are um, more common than the Chinese mantis. It seemed, but. Um, the thecai of ch uh, narrowing mantids are similar in looks to the Carolina mantids, which are totally different looking mantises uh, when they're as, when you see them as adults. Uh, uh, the Carolina mantids are a lot smaller than the Chinese and narrowing mantises. Um, they are native ment they, they are nat native mantis of the, the United States. Um, they seem to like the forests. I see a lot of uh, thecai in, in bark, uh, in in very deep uh, in cracks. That I didn't think they could actually 
uh, go down so deep into those uh, deep cracks to, to lay an attack on? How, how do they squeeze in there inside um, a stump or whatever? Uh, and also on tr uh, short tree branches in, in the forests. Uh, also on bushes uh, in open areas like um, just um, around a subdivision or whatever. And Chinese mantis also like that. Um, but sometimes they lay their utakai on grasses or stuff like uh, near the ground that get washed around when a lot of water comes around. So, but they still do fine. They hatch out all right. They're tough, I guess. The utakai don't get damaged easily, or the eggs inside the utakai. Um, now, south in Florida, there's several species. Look on Bug Guide if you want to really figure out what type of species there are and what type you you have, and ask on mantidforum.net. Uh, I'll post links below this video. Uh, in the western United States, uh, there are different mantises. Uh, there's the Limbata, Stagmo mantis Limbata, similar to the same genus as the Carolina mantis, and there's the California mantis, also in the same genus as the Carolina mantis. Uh, those two species, Stagmo mantis, are kind of similar in looks, I guess. But California mantis, is very, uh, to me, looks very similar to the Carolina mantis, while the Limbata, the border mantis, is much stockier. The adult females are, the adult males to me all look similar on those three stagmo mantis species, the Carolina, the California, and the border mantis. All look similar to me, the adult males. Uh, but the, the adult females, the, the border mantis, the limbata, um, look much stockier. The, their their wing, forewings go down to the, to their sides more, and they have different veins, or the patterns on their the wings. Uh, they can vary in coloration, all, all three species, a lot. One species tends to be one other color more, and more. but anyway, it's complicated. I just can't. Um, to tell them apart, uh, the California mantises as adults have three, at least three or four, black horizontal black stripes on their underneath their wings on their abdomen. Uh, I'll post a link below of Yen Sao's log. Uh, he shows pictures of those black stripes underneath the wings, and uh, the Nimbata and the Carolina mantis don't have that. And I don't know if there are any other. Stagmomantises, but there are a lot of stagmomantis species, most of them in South America, Central America. Um, there's another species, Floridensis, lives in the uh, southern part of Florida at least, maybe goes farther north a little. Uh, it's a very big stagmomantis uh, and might not be too rare actually in its in its range, because uh, I see people uh, finding them, uh, taking pictures on Flickr or whatever. I, I, I look at that and oh, there's a. Uh, so those might not be uh, rare as out by most people. Um, the California mantises, the, those limbata, the border mantis, California mantis are then west. Those uh, California mantis are now maybe moving up north into southern Idaho. Um, it's interesting. Uh, it's interesting stuff happening. That uh, uh, they're actually uh, the border mantises are seem to be. Uh, I see many more photos of those than the California mantises on Flickr and other. Uh, on the web, I see more photos of those, and they're often misidentified as California mantises. Uh, I wonder if in some areas uh, the California mantises would be more common, um, but still, uh, from what I've seen, the border mantises are by far more common. I've seen, seen many more pictures of them. I don't know why. Maybe they're they move they're more uh, active or something. They get into people's gardens more. I don't know. I guess not. I guess, uh, I guess they are more common some of them. Um, as babies, they, uh, the border mantises, the limbata, hatch out green coloration, uh, the color, and um, they was that kind of different in color too, but I don't know if that's a reliable way to distinguish them, uh, those stagmo mantis species. Um, but the uh, California mantises come out almost black or dark brown, and uh, red, uh, some red on their eyes. And the Ca Carolina mantises uh, hatch out light brown or tannish brown, yellowish. Um, there's some uh, there's um in there's a in so Southern California uh, in California there would be the European mantis is probably uh, one of the most common or the co most common it's an introduced species uh it doesn't seem I don't know if they are in the southeastern United States actually the European mantises might not be here or um, even in the northeastern United States that they're maybe rare uh, the Chinese mantis is common there I wonder if they compete the Chinese mantis actually push out the European mantises I wonder um. In Canada, though, the the European mantises are pretty much the only species, except there's one native species in Canada, but that's only in British Columbia southern part, um, and that's a Litanutria uh, minor, uh, little brown mantis, 
and there's only one, uh, one I know of. Uh, another ground mantis species it has a southern, more southern range, doesn't go up far, as far north. It's the Obscura, Obscure ground mantis. Uh, lives in the west, western United States, southwestern. Um, they are fast mantises I've read, or something like that, active. And go, uh, they don't uh, live on, uh, they live in, uh, in bush, uh, low bush, uh, low part of bushes and stuff. Um, the European mantises go up north to British, Col British Columbia, and they are also found in Quebec and Ontario. Um, uh, that's maybe just in southern parts of the, the Canada. Uh, that's about it for the common ones. Ah, there's one more. Mediterranean mantis, ir Iris or Iris oratoria. That mantis is similar to the Carolina, uh, to the Stagwell mantis species. They have shorter wings than adult females. Uh, they're similar in size. Uh, distinguished, they're actually they're in the to totally different family. They're in the, like, the ground mantis family or something, the Terracotidae. Um, as nymphs, they, they look more like ground mantises, but when they turn adult, they look more like the stagmo mantises. Uh, but you, you can see some differences in the legs. They're shorter like or something like that. And um, the pronotum or something, I don't know, I forgot. Um, and their head is different, uh, more uh, compact head, something like that. Bigger head, I don't know. Um, you can tell them apart by looking at uh, their underwings. The Iris oratoria, the Mediterranean mantises, as adults, uh, of course, adults only adults have wings of mantises. Uh, you can see a black, big black spot. It's obvious on their underwings. Uh, it's like a eye, a eye spot or something like a butterfly has to scare its predators away, like birds, I guess. And um, these stagmo mantises, the others don't have the, that big black spot on each hind hind wing. It's really big. You you'll see it. Um, anyway, it lives in the Arizona and uh, Texas and California, Southern California. Uh, it might be, it's probably, it, in uh, New Mexico, I saw one uh, picture from on the border, it's in, uh, southeastern New Mexico, and uh, on, uh, on, in Texas, on the border, near the border of southeastern New Mexico, so it's, they're probably in New Mexico, I, I, I don't know. Goodbye.